That's probably the last memory I have sitting right there. Everyone has their own way of doing it. Right there is where I was. Facing Man. a scar. I don't think there's very many people that come out here. For the first time in 10 years. I think it's fair to say that few outside this state had ever heard of West. I drive this road almost every day. Robbie Payne is where his deepest scar left its mark. I've never stopped and got out on this side of the road since the explosion. At 7.29 p.m., April 17, 2013, flames emerged from the West Fertilizer plant. They were already fighting it when I got there. Robbie, a volunteer fireman for West since 1986. This is my locker right here. Among many who answered the call. The story I'm told. What followed. I was blown out of my boots, yeah. Changed the town. My memory cuts out before that. Of less than 3,000 forever. How you doing, you okay? That day is one that hit many hard. I fell out of my recliner, boom, and I was on the floor. But the rest of West. And I was way over here. Remembers. See, that's Gail's husband. And I was like, okay, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. And I'll look back and it literally blew up in my face. Everything flying off the shelves, ceiling tiles falling down, and buildings shook. At 7.51 p.m., what started as a fire turned catastrophic. Tens of thousands of pounds of ammonium nitrate at the plant exploded. There's a big explosion and our house is just destroyed. Instantly killing 15 people. 12 were first responders. They didn't even know what hit them. It was an emotional event from day one till... And Robbie's friends. Now, I was the closest to the actual explosion that survived the explosion. Robbie feels the burden of survivor's guilt. It weighs heavy. I always wonder why me, why was I the one that got to walk away and so many of these others didn't get to walk away. And it's a flat out miracle Robbie is still alive. The explosion felt for miles. Let's go to the slide that's uh, before the explosion. This is the building that's on fire right here. If he hadn't been standing behind a fire truck at 7.51 p.m. That truck definitely saved my life. The death toll would likely be 16. I was behind this truck and blowing into this tank right here, so I moved from there to there. The most severe damage was the concussion. Broken bones in the jaw and cheek, broken teeth, broken left ankle. Robbie instantly went from serving on the front lines. Five there, five here. To serving at the end of the line. Nine of them are first responders. His family owns Aderhold Funeral Home. Took a heavy, heavy toll. They buried 10. I think Obama's in there yet, but uh, shortly before this, when I came in the room, everybody gave me a standing ovation. And I didn't do it. This is a very emotional part of the day for me. A part of me that day died. It's hard to bury a, a child. Joey Puschowski was one of those caskets. He was the city secretary and only 29. I knew immediately he was there. Nobody didn't have to tell me. These are his parents. I always ate lunch with Joey. He couldn't get off of work that day. So I told him, I said, let's just go tomorrow. I said, you're really busy, you know, and uh, get kind of... The scar of losing a son. That was my last words to him. Still fresh. I didn't get that last hug gather here in Texas to mourn the brave men who went through fire. The explosion leveled more than families, hundreds of homes, schools, a nursing home. The park that was here before was destroyed. Where Puschowski and his little boy Parker often played. Parker had the idea that he wanted to rebuild the park. That little boy, now in high school, he held two fundraisers at the age of four. Look at the kids playing. $83,000 raised both times to build this. Joey was born August the 3rd, 803 and 1983. He weighed eight pounds and three ounces and he was born at 8.03 a.m. How do you explain that to someone? In God's world, there's no coincidences. The new park. They're all having a good time. Mm -hmm. Right next to the West Memorial. Joey had a party in it. That's all I can say. This is our apartment, this one right above the, the white car. While Robbie and the Pustrovskis can hide their scars. We were just sitting down to dinner and the 
Oh, sorry. Um, Misty Lambert faces hers in the mirror every day. All right. Anyways, um, we were just sitting down to dinner. I was in our refrigerator. The door got blown off. I'm standing in front of the window and it's like blowing up in my face. I was pinned to sheetrock. I was pinned underneath bricks. People walked by me and you heard, oh, go get a sheet. They thought I was dead. Nobody knew my name. Yeah. I became a trauma patient iris. I had a thousand staples of stitches. It's like that. That's not you. That is you. That's you. To this day, even 10 years later, there is a piece of glass in my throat and I can feel it. Lambert is still pulling glass. You know it's glass because you can see the shininess out of her skin. I'm stuck with these scars. I'm stuck with all these memories. Thank you for not giving up on me. And there's still days when you, I'll go look in the mirror and I'll just be like, I'll stand there and I will cry. It's probably something that I'll live with the rest of my life. That heartache. All these houses in this area were completely destroyed and rebuilt. Some of the houses are just gorgeous. The explosion, a consequence of poor ammonium nitrate storage practices per investigators. The cause of the fire, still a mystery. Is everybody okay? But my God, what has happened? A reward still offered for more information. We give thanks for the courage and the incredible grace of the people of West. Every truck is in honor of the men that we lost. Absolutely. Even though April 17th, 2013 is a scar, it is also much more. I get up every day and I show them what I'm made of. I don't want everybody just to forget these guys. Those people gave their lives for us. Well, think about it every single day. Think about these guys that we lost. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. All the time. Goodness gracious. These are not strangers. These are neighbors. And that's why in West, we know that we will get through this. I'm Matt Howerton. God bless West.